What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stranded Deep where I will be your guide and your host as we sit by a campfire for right now. Is it just me, but whenever I look at a campfire, you ever notice that it stimulates your memory? Like you remember things that happened when you stare at a fire, like you remember things that you would never remember before. Like random details about stuff in the past, that always happens to me when I stare at a fire and I've never understood what it is about just like combustion that causes my brain to remember old things, I don't know. Either way, for right now, I think we're just waiting out the evening. I don't think it would be wise for us to sail out and attempt to do anything else. For right now, I think we might be able to make a spit somehow. I don't know. Let's bring some stuff over here. I think we would probably need, like, I don't know, some lashing. Do I still have sticks in my inventory? I do. Awesome. Come sail away with me. Come sail away. Come sail away. Please, sticks, don't sue me. Please do not sue my ass. Please don't. And then if I put, I would love to not be sued. Of all the things that I would love, not being sued would be, it'd be up there on the list. I don't know how we cook things. I know we can make a fire pit. If we make a campfire, like, let's figure, maybe I need this crab over here. Give me crabs back. I know we got the ointment and, like, the little comb, but we need the crabs back. Here, we got the crab. If I throw the crab in there, oh my god. Does it just, like, cook on its own? It makes a noise. Hold on, what? Eh. No! Yeah! Oh, man. I can do this. I believe. I believe I can cook The crab on this little fiery nook Think about it, so hungry now Little crab, let me cook you now Damn it. Why won't this work? There's gotta be a way that I'm doing this wrong. Hold on. Crab? Hmm. Do I need more stuff? Maybe I need more sticks in order for this to work. Hold on, let's let's get our axe out. I'm gonna leave these two trees right here for ambiance, but I'm gonna chop this one down. Sorry, tree. You're done for. My god, it's so dark right now. Oh, there's lashing over here too? Oh man, I'm forgetting all the stuff that I'm doing lately. Either way, let's harvest another tree. This is only gonna take a moment. So tree chopping. I apologize in the previous episode that there was no mouse cursor. I didn't notice until later on that DX Tori was being a grumpy little bitch and forgetting to put my mouse cursor in there. So DX Tori and I had a talk. A very, very firm talk. And I was like, yo, people need to know where I'm clicking. Like, I realize everything in this game highlights, but for real. Why do you keep undoing default settings that I put in you? Why? I'm like, well, first and foremost, stop putting things in me, let alone default settings. Second, I don't listen to you because I'm DX Tori and I do whatever the hell I want. So, na 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 na. Sha na na na. There we go. Some more sticks. Everybody needs sticks, right? Let's bring this back over here. Maybe we can. Oh, the sun might be coming up soon. That would be good. That would be pleasurable and also pleasing to me. What if I put these right here? I can make another campfire. How do I make... I want to... So let's say for a moment that I take this crab right here. And... No, I don't want to craft a campfire. But I would like this crab to get cooked. It makes a sizzly noise when I put... it. Does it cook? Or is it just still kind of the... I bet I can make this. I need crab. I really need you to come together right now. I really, I'm not going to do a Beatles quote, but I need you to, like, work for me here. Maybe if I do it like this, like, throw it against the sticks. Oh, it almost worked. It almost worked. Oh, we got it now. Come on, crab. You can cook. I believe in you. You can do this right now. Get all nice and sizzly. I believe. I believe. Crab? Are you okay right now, crab? I feel like you're not okay right now. Hmm. But given our lack of a grill, how does this? How are we looking on food right now? We're looking okay. I would like this crab to be cooked right now, please. That would be great. Anybody want to cook a crab, huh? It's making sizzly noises. Did that do anything for? Did that make me sick? Well, it didn't heal my health at all. So that's a concern. Anyways, we're probably going to have to make a better fire pit. That's what I'm getting for today. That's our goal. Today we're going to make a better fire pit that we could put a fire spit into. Maybe you can't add the fire spit to the normal campfire. you got to have, like, the better upgraded one. I think we're going to need another tree or so. Maybe that campfire is only a temporary one, too. Like, you know how in every crafting game, there's, like, the temporary fire, and then there's, like, the cool guy fire, like, I don't know, the Spuds McKenzie of fires? I'm not really sure. Spuds McKenzie's pretty damn cool, though. I mean, as far as cool dogs go, I think he's higher up on the list. Is it Spuds McKenzie? I don't know. I wasn't that old when those commercials were around. I don't even know if I was alive when those commercials were around. I'd have to look up the dates. Was it in the 80s? If it was in the 80s, I was there. If it wasn't in the 80s, then done for. Done for. One of the other old folks like myself can tell us. Seriously. 
I don't know when I started to feel like an old guy, but it was somewhere around my late 20s. I'm not sure how it happened. Like, I, somewhere along the way, I woke up one day and I'm like, eh, I'm going to start thinking about myself as an old guy now. Some of my friends haven't done that. Like, have you noticed how weird it gets? I don't know. Guys that are in your late 20s, it gets weird when your friends date like 18-year-olds, right? I have friends that still date like 18-year-olds. And I think it got weird somewhere around the age of 24. And so the fact that they're pushing 30 right now and still, like, barking up that tree, I mean, more power to them. I'm not going to be a hater right now. I mean, obviously, hey, they're doing their thing. I'm not going to be a buzzkill like that. That's not me. But I'm just saying, like, I don't know. It got weird. Eventually, you start feeling the need to, like, settle down, too. We got enough. Oh, my God. I pressed the wrong thing. So what we need to do right now, I think it would be nice. I don't know. We want to make. We need more rocks if we're going to make the... I can stop doing this at any time that I please. We need more rocks. So anyways, let's gather up these coconuts too because I think we need them. Green coconuts. Go. Uh, the tree is blocking me right now. I'm being stump blocked. We'll move this over here. I have been literally stumped. Let's go over here on this side and we're going to add these to the pile. We've got a really big pile of coconuts. Like seriously, we're not going to have coconut problems like ever. Coconut problems solved. We actually should probably drink this, though. Drinky, drinky? Is it just a husk now, or does it still count as a drinkable? Like, how come you're not letting me drink you? It says that it's a drinkable coconut, but it's not letting me drink it anymore. I think it's lying to me. I think it's lying to me right now. Go over there. This is our new, this is our communal trash heap on this side. We've already been here. We've only been here for like eight seconds and we're already like wrecking the place. Maybe I'll try a different one and see if it works. The game thus far has passed like if you wanted like a little bit more of a reviewer's critique. Anyways, there we go. Is this one going to work? Yeah, I think you only get one drink out of it. It stays a drinkable coconut. Like it says it's a drinkable coconut, but it's actually not, I think. Either way, our hydration's taken care of. We've been here like five seconds. We're already creating trash mounds. It is what it is. I am man. Bask before my eminent glory and ability to create trash. Mwahaha. It's like a superpower for me. Here we go. You ever like quantify just like how much trash you produce as like a human being? I'm not trying to be like hippy dippy right now, but seriously. You ever just like sit back and think how many times? I take out the trash a lot of times a day, and I'm actually consistently surprised how much trash I personally produce. It's like, damn, I make a lot of trash. Let me chop this up real fast. I don't think I actually... Oh, no, you don't. I wanted to click down and just keep chopping, but I guess it won't let me. I'm basically going to try and make an endless supply of sticks right now so that we don't have to worry about it from now on. Like, as many sticks as I can produce, I would prefer that it keeps me from having to do anything greater. I do like the fact that we have to separate all of the various crafting materials from each other. A lot of people will be like, I don't get why we have to be pedantic and sit here clicking a lot, but I like it, actually. It, I like the way our axe is levitating. If you look at our shadow right there, the ghostly axe of the island. Apparently, we died in the crash, and we just haven't realized it right now. We've got kind of like a sixth sense thing going on. You know there's going to be that one guy in the crowd who's like, spoilers, man. I'm like, dude, if you haven't seen the sixth sense yet, you're not going to see it. Like, I just, I can't get on board with this proposition right now. If you haven't seen it yet, eh, you're probably not going to see it. I would just, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it at all. Let's go on this side. We'll throw the palm fronds over there. We still got more cocoa nuts, and so we will throw those over there. There we go. We've got a bottle of water. It can be filled up from a bucket to store fresh water more conveniently. I don't know if we're going to be able to make a rain catch or anything like that, but I would definitely, what you want to use for that is the raft. If you've got the raft with you right here, you want to set the raft up because it's the easiest way for you to have a non-perishable, non hole filled receptacle and so you would dump all the salt water out it might take you a while to rinse it though is the only problem there's probably got like salt as like residue all over it that shark is still out there i can see him with his little nasty dorsal fin i know you're out there shark you're not fooling me right now i'm not coming out there no -uh, nothing out here but us water just hanging out nothing but us hydrogens and oxygens i'd be like you're a lying son of a bitch shark you are a lying son of a bitch all right so anyways use this this is a real life tip Use this. This is what you want to catch water in if you can. You could also actually use it as a shelter too if you wanted to put it up on sticks, but eh. I'd probably use it as a water catch first before anything else. Can I break these rocks at all? Is that a thing that I am capable of doing? I can't break the rocks. Okay, so the rocks can't be broken. That leaves me in kind of like a weird situation here. We may actually have to venture off the island to find more rocks because I think we're out. I'm. What was that noise? Is there something living on the island with me right now? I'm not so sure that there is and or isn't. Hmm. Either way, let's go. I'm going to drag the raft over to the side of the island. Oh, never mind. It's already over here. All right, raft. Come along with me. It's time for more adventures. We need to make ourselves a fire pit, and we lack the rocks in order to do it properly. 
We need basic survival first. And then now, oh my god, what just happened right there? That was scary. We picked up way too much velocity in way too short of a period. That acceleration was far too... Shark? I hate you so much right now, Shark. You are not doing anything for my long-term sanity. I hate sharks. I like them. Like, I think they are gorgeous, wonderful creatures. But I would rather not be anywhere near a shark. That's just... I would prefer I not be part of a shark's world. And he can not be part of mine. We can stay away from Little Mermaid songs involving the part of your real, like world motif. I... He can have his world, I can have mine. We can be on opposite ends of the spectrum. We can not be friends, I don't mind at all. He can have his little social circle, I can have mine. This is going to take forever. I can tell already, like, this is going to be... Oh my god, I don't feel like we went that far either. Holy shit. Okay, well, let's keep going. I don't know if that island is wise. I may... Holy hell, we are, like, way out here. Wow. Alright, well, I hope we don't get lost. That's a big thing, too. Like, survivalism largely hinges upon the fact that you don't get lost. Although, many survival situations begin when somebody gets lost. I mean... Holy shit. I can't even tell which island it was anymore. I think it's that one right there. I'm pretty sure it's that little tiny one. I That turned out being way farther. I guess my ability to, like, figure out how far away something is is much more... Well, I guess my abilities are diminished. I guess would be the best thing I... Oh, shit. Why are there so many sharks out here? Oh, my God. Okay, well, I'm going to make a cut right now. We'll come back if anything interesting happens. Okay, well, that was an ordeal. That took forever. Like, by my timer, it took me three and a half minutes to paddle over there to over there. I don't know if maybe they want to speed that up slightly. I, I'm not trying to ruin the game, so don't get me... What is that? Just a big sphincter in the ground. Everybody stick your eye up to the hole. Nothing could possibly go wrong with this situation. Something comes bursting forth. Ah, it bursts forth into my eye cavity. Dear God. We need rocks is what we need. We also need like anything that, oh my God, our food. Okay, so we're working our way through calories right now too. So essentially what I want to bring back with me first and foremost is rocks because we don't have a lot of those. Rocks we are severely lacking. Oh, there's a boat over here. Can I climb this? No, I cannot. All right, well, that means I have to brave shark-infested waters. I'm leaving my raft over there for a reason, by the way. It's staying over there for a very real, very concrete reason for navigation purposes. If I drag the raft up too far, it is possible that we might get lost. Let's grab some taters. There we go. I want to bring back food with me as well. Our island has a lot of things, but food is not one of them. And so I feel like these little scavenging slash raiding parties that we're going out on... Does this count as raiding? I mean, I guess if it's if we're the yucca plant and we are the potato plant, absolutely this counts as raiding. If somebody ran up and hit me with an axe, I'd be concerned. I'd be like, so what's with the increase in Viking-related activities lately? You just, like, rolled out and hit me in the face with a stick? There are no rocks on this island either. My god, can I break these? Like, hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about the lack of rocks. It won't let me pick up these bigger ones over here. Or, like, break off pieces, but at the same time, I'm a little bit worried that we're going to have to go even further out. This might turn into one of those episodes where I'm making jump cuts and edits all over the place. I see nothing else here. Like, there's nothing on this island. I suppose I could. So, our island, if you're wondering which island we are, I think, is that one right there. I'm pretty sure that's our island. However, there's like a trillion sharks over there, and they're terrifying, and they're scary, and they don't want to be friends. And so, well, they want to be friends with their mouths, I guess. They want me to be friends with their stomach, I suppose. Forestalling my fear of sharks. I'm going to try and get up in the boat right here, but yeah, that didn't work. So maybe we have to raft over here to make it work? It's a little bit, I don't know. It's a little bit janky with the way that you get up on objects. We may have to get into the raft and jump. And since I don't like this very much... God, that sucks. I really would prefer to leave my raft over here. If we get lost right now, it's going to be embarrassing as hell. All right, life raft. Come with me. Come with me if you want to float. I'm with California for the Californian. Oh my God, no raft. Come back. Come back, raft. Come back. We are friends, kind of. Oh my God, I hate you so much right now, raft. I only say that I hate you to my best friends. Let's go back over here. I'm going to drag you up on the rocks. There we go. What good's a friend if they can't get you on the rocks? There we go. And so, we'll take this. 
Let's see if we can paddle over here real quick, and maybe this will give us a better opportunity to get up on the boat. I don't know what kind of, like, findable objects are on the boat. We might find, like, a flashlight or some other, you know, creature comfort to make our life easier. Speaking of which, why are there so many shipwrecks out here? I'm a little bit worried about this. We've got boards right there. I, can I climb down into that hole? I don't know if I'll be able to get back out if I do. I'm worried about it. I actually... It doesn't look like there's anything here of interest, which is minorly disappointing. I mean, it's not super disappointing. I wish that there was, like, something over here on the boat, though. It would be kind of cool. Well, then, it appears as though I paddled all the way out here for no reason whatsoever. Ugh, we only got two rocks. One rock. We didn't even get two rocks. Damn it. I need, like, three or four rocks, and I don't know, maybe we can find them on the bottom of the ocean or something? It seems like a risk that I really don't want to take, though. Like, there's a lot of sharks around, and they are, as I was paddling across, I counted eight sharks. There are a severe, it's an overstocking problem. There are way, way too many sharks right now for us to, like, swim safely and not feel like our life is not at a very real and very close risk. I don't know how close that island is over there. I don't know. It's such a tough call. Getting myself lost right now. I don't want to get laughed at in the comments. That's my biggest fear. Getting laughed at. I don't know if you can break these rocks maybe with a hammer or something like that, but we got nothing right now. This entire island was a complete and total bust for us. I mean, we got some we got some potatoes because uh, it says because I think that's that answers my question in the previous episode. Why are there potatoes on the island? Because it's funny that they already answered that question. I figured that'd probably be the first question that anybody would ask that's ever lived on a tropical island. Potatoes? Why are there potatoes on a tropical island? That seems a little weird. Okay, well, not exactly the most fruitful journey. I guess we'll go back to our island and we'll drop off our potatoes there. But for right now, not having a lot of luck. Maybe I'll try and catch some... I, maybe I'll eat a couple of these first. To offset our hunger, because our hunger is looking a bit terrifying at the moment. It's not horrible, but it's down a little bit, and we got to stay ahead of it. Can I grab one of these little dudes right here with a knife? Let's find out. How do I... That's like one sardine. Are sardines from Sardinia? Is that why they their name sardines? I don't know. It doesn't look like we're having much luck with the sardines. Maybe we need a fishing pole or something. I don't know. We'll stab you. Stab you. I'm bringing back food, damn it. We're gonna have something edible before we go anywhere else. Alright, it's paddle time. So we finally made it back. We're back. We're back home right now. Our piles of stuff should still be over here somewhere. Yes, there's our piles of stuff. So we're still good. Oh my god, it's like a crab colony over here. They are so excited about the fact that I'm living on this island. So the next place we want to go is... I don't even know right now, to be honest. Like, that island turned out to be so much farther away than I expected that... I'm not really sure what to do with it at this point. It's still 108 degrees Fahrenheit. Maybe they haven't implemented, like, the cold system yet. I'm thinking that they haven't put the cold system in yet. Probably the thing to worry about. We might try and actually night swim off in a different direction. Oh, good, the potato plant grew back. That means I can get away with eating these. Mmm, raw potatoes. Delicious. Get inside my stomach, raw potato. I love you so much. Ew, raw potato sounds awful, though. I don't know. I've never taken a bite out of a raw... Like, seriously, I've never taken a bite out of a raw potato. It just seems like something that is ill-advised. There's no part of that situation that, like, I don't feel like Santa would come anymore. If I, like, for example, it would ruin Christmas fairly easily if I had to eat a raw one. We should do it. Let's make a hammer. A crude building tool with poor durability is required for building. We have a basic campfire, a crude axe. I don't know if we can actually, like, break stuff with the hammer, but we'll make one right now. There's the hammer right there. Oh, yeah, okay. So when you hold the hammer, it looks like it transitions you into building mode. Oh, it does. Okay. So it puts you in a different mode. Maybe I can smack around on some... God, it's so dark. I think this is just a building utensil. I was hoping that it would let me bust up rocks, but I guess not. So that was time well spent, I suppose. What can I do with palm fronds? Probably just do, like, roofing or something. I bet that's what it is. Take this coconut. How's our thirst looking? Eh, we're a little bit thirsty. We could thirst. I mean, eh, we could eat. We could drink. It would work for right now, but we don't really need to, quote-unquote. If you lose your if you lose your raft, I feel like this game's difficulty will jump up exponentially. Losing the raft seems like a terrible plan. So we've got the axe, got the knife. I kind of want to leave the knife here, maybe? I don't know. It's just hard to see, though. 
Like, that's the thing, is I need it to be, like, close enough to where I can see it if I come back. Alright, so there we go. Our knife has been left. I'm not gonna bring the water with me either. I want my inventory to be empty so that if I come back... No, litter, don't go in the ocean. Damn it! The ocean. Nature's natural garbage can. That reminds me of the episode in which... Ricky and the Trailer Park Boys is talking about the ecosystem of lakes. And how lakes are like nature's garbage cans where you just throw trash out into them and it takes the trash away. And you never see it again. <laughs> so he's like... Throwing like a hundred bikes out there. Nobody could ever find the bikes again. It made me laugh. I don't know. I thought it was funny. I'll probably... Let's leave our food supply over here by this tree, possibly. In real life, you would have to worry about crabs coming in and scavenging the bodies of their fallen friends. But for right now, we don't have to worry about it. I'm going to sprint on out to another island and see if we can get some better resources. I think that's the island that we already went out to, maybe? I don't know. Let me get a, let me get a heading right here real quick. This is where... Yeah, that's the island we went out to. So I'm thinking we're going to go out to that one right there now. I'll probably drag this off to this side, though, such that I it's lined up at least so that we're on the proper side so that I know that if I look behind me, we can come back to the alley we were already on. I don't know which one looks closer, though. That one over there, this little chain, I don't know, it's a tough call. That little chain right there looks like it might be closer. Let's give it a go. We'll give it a whirl. I'm going to do my best to edit out all the paddling because, you know, it's boring and, like, nothing happens. Alright, so we're almost there, everybody. We're getting there. Out in the water, there's these weird water spouts around. I'm not sure what they are, but you see over there, you can kind of see it. I think it might be sharks. Either way, we're paddling. I don't know. I was singing, like, a merry paddling song. It went something... I don't know. It was along the lines of, like, I'm so glad that I'm paddling on a boat. I'm also glad that our boat, it still it floats. If a shark tries to bite me, kick it in the throat. Tra-la-la-la-la-la-la. That's, it's, you've got to do, if you're doing a sailing song, you've got to do it. You've got to see, you got to get into it. I think the second bar, or I'm sorry, the second, I think the second line right there could use a little bit of work. There's a little bit of clumsy, please tell me this is the same island. Oh my god, we're so far, oh, that is the worst feeling ever. I don't like you, shark. I want to make that abundantly clear. I like you zero units of measurement. If I could measure love in units of measurement, uh, you would get a zero. You would get an F minus. That's right, letter grades. F minus for shark. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it generated the same island twice, because even this hole was here. I don't know what this hole does. Can I, like, harvest this hole? What is this? Huh. I don't know if it counts as, like, fertile ground or what, but anyways, that's actually really disappointing to find that it made the same island twice. I swear to God, this is not the same island that we went to before. This is a completely different island. The one that we went to is that one over there. This island, however, I... Little disappointed. Little disappointed. All things considered. Let me turn on a light here so that maybe we can see. And one thing that I know is that we're not going to have any rocks here. If it's like the other island, it's going to be identical. I mean, the potato plant came back. The yucca plant is still here. That's really, really, like, sort of a downer. I was hoping that there would be, like, rocks and other good things here. And so now, in order to sail from this point... I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. God. Are there any rocks here, or is this completely just a giant waste of time? I'm thinking that I'm going to go for the ladder. I, I think it's looking like the ladder. I'm seeing a lot of steps right now. There was nothing on the boat last time either, so I don't think that's a good idea. Well, I mean, we might as well... There's a rock. At least it's something. I mean, we got to get something out of this. If I can't find... We need at least a little fragment of random lithic material. I'd appreciate it. I don't know what kind of rocks these are. I would assume they're basalt of some kind. If you don't know, basalt is like a, a lava flow rock, essentially. It bubbles up from the middle of the ocean, and that's why a lot of island chains have it. So basically, these island chains are typically formed by the fact that there will be these little rifts in the, the ocean's crust at the bottom. Yeah. I don't know why that just happened. Apparently, I had an alarm set for like 10 o'clock-ish in the morning, and I don't know. I leave stuff. You're not going to hear it because I'm going to edit it out, but now that I've drawn attention to it, I might as well leave it in. I don't see any rocks around here. This totally sucks. Like, rocks are this magical resource. Oh, I found one. Hooray! That means I missed one on the other island because I think I only brought back one rock from the other island. Either way, let's keep combing our way through. But as I was saying, there's these places called MORs. They're mid-ocean ridges. And it's places where the oceanic crust at the bottom is rending apart. And that's one of the mechanics required in order for plate tectonics to function. 
And so, as these things continue to rift apart, lava bubbles up in the thin area of the crust because there's too much pressure underneath it. So the lava's like, no, and it charges the crust. It goes, and it squeezes out, and that's your basaltic magma, which is this stuff right here. And that's why you end up with pillow basalts and all kinds of other goodies around. So that's the island that we came from. That's the island that we went to before. I don't know if it's a wise idea to set sail from here to a different island. It might not work out the way that I want it to, but we've only got two rocks, and I feel like we've come home sort of empty-handed. It's a little bit of a disappointment, but I guess we can... I don't know. I'm, I'm a little disappointed right now. A little disappointed. Are there any rocks on the bottom of the ocean, by chance? I mean, if there's rocks on the bottom of the ocean, that'd be pretty banging. I'd be excited about it. Can I hide? I mean, what if a shark comes after me right now? What can I do to avoid that? As a potential outcome. Nothing. I don't have any shark spray. Is that a thing? Shark spray? You go swimming with shark spray on there like, Ew! This human smells like Duke. I'm gonna go eat that seal instead. Like, yes! Like an oceanic smell that distinguishes me from all the seals. I mean, I can, I can release my own personal biological repellent. If I see the shark in time, I'm going to shit. Just like, I'm going to shit like a shotgun if I see a shark coming towards me. I'm not trying to be filthy right now. I'm just saying that... I may mess myself if there's sharks involved. I don't know how we tell how much oxygen we have. How do we tell how long this guy can hold his breath? We can reasonably assume that he's probably not like a professional pearl diver. But it looks like the, the little ledge drops off pretty quick right there. I, I'm not interested in going into the deep water. I kind of just want to look around for freebie rocks. Like that one right there looks quite spheroidal. I feel like I could bring it along with me and not be the worse for wear. Either way though, it looks like two rocks is going to be the take on this island, which is super disappointing. I feel very let down at the moment, and not just because I'm sinking due to the fact that I'm carrying rocks while I'm trying to swim. Terrible, terrible idea, by the way. Oh, wow, I didn't realize we were this far out. No. This is shark territory. I'm leaving. Nope. Nope. Swim faster. Swim faster. You know there's a shark coming up right now. Mm -mm. Faster, faster, faster. Okay. Whew. I feel safer all of a sudden. Sharks. Naturally repelled by land. They don't like it. Sand. Anything you can really stand upon. Standing seems to be that one thing that gets under their skin. Their nasty, silky, sharky skin. That's really the reason that I hate them. It's just that they have a great, great skin. They look good. They look really, really good. We've got an axe right here. Let me get these potato plants harvested. I guess we should bring everything useful back with us that we can. So there we go. A couple of potatoes. If there's yucca plants around, we should probably harvest those and bring them back too. I'm probably going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the next episode of Stranded Deep. As of right now, it looks like we're sort of like lacking for a lot of the resources we need. Hopefully we'll get a fire pit built by like the end of the next day. I hope. That would be what I'm aiming towards anyways. I'm going to try and gather up some of the things we need in order to make the fire pit in between here and there. And maybe we'll get lucky and just like life will be good. I don't know. We can't harvest rock from anywhere, which is the big disappointment of the day right now. But we will take everything we can from this island so that we can drop it off at the other island. And I'll probably come back starting the other episode, like the next one coming up. Maybe with us. I don't know. I'd like to build some stuff in the next episode. I'd like to be at least slightly competent. Anyways, I'm going to eat some raw potatoes as a punishment for not doing anything in this episode, and I will see you all later. Hi-do, everybody.